or position a man for this abundant life that he is created to enjoy on the earth. New birth is not just a religion. New birth is not just about introduction to a church. New birth is an experience that a man must have, the experience of a new life. If new birth is so fundamental and essential for experience of the abundant life, then it's good that we truly understand what new birth is because it must be genuine. The undoing of too many, particularly in the church in our days, is that the, 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 their new birth experience is not genuine. The challenge with men on the earth is ignorance. Ignorance of what it takes to get at their desire. In the words of my father in the faith, Bishop David Ripo, he says, There is no mountain anywhere. Every man's mountain is his ignorance. So if you are having a mountain facing you, it's not a problem. It's not a mountain really. You are ignorant of something. Getting to know what you are ignorant of we clear the mountain off. Remember, in our last episode, we spoke about God's intention for creating man on the earth is for a life of beauty to enjoy the abundant life. But in the, in, in the reality of life, looking at the experience of most men, the total contrast is what men they're experiencing. So what is the problem? It's all about the ignorance of how to experience the abundant life. So in this episode, we'll be looking at, we'll be exploring, we'll be going on a journey. What is God's way to experience this abundant life he has for man? Stay with me on this video because in the name of Jesus Christ, your life will never be the same again. You will never know struggle in life again. And where things have been hard with you, it will give way before we are through in this video. So let's go. What are the ways prescribed by God or prescribed by scriptures that will make a man to enjoy and experience the abundant life on the earth, irrespective of his biological background, irrespective of his educational status, irrespective of his social standing, irrespective of whatever class he has been placed in life, incompetence, his inability, if he will follow this prescribed way of God in his daily life, he is sure to begin to experience the abundant life. He is sure to begin to experience beauty in this world that is filled with every kind of evil vices. The number one prescribed way that will bring a man to the abundant life is ensure the experience of new birth. Ensure you experience the new birth or new birth and that experience is genuine. John chapter 10 verse 10 says it very clear. He said, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That thief there refers to the devil. When a man lives his life for the devil, his life is controlled by the devil. He does things that, uh, that, uh, that are the way, he lives by the way of the devil. He does things that the devil likes or glorifies the devil. He is, that's a thief. He has allowed the thief he has allowed the thief access to his life. He has given the control of his life to the thief. And when the thief has access to a man's life, he will do three things. He will kill. He will steal. He will kill. He will destroy. So the abundant life that God has for the man, it will be stolen by the devil. It will be de killed by the devil. It will be destroyed by the devil. It will be a miserable life. But that scripture says for that in John 10, 10 that I was quoting, that the thief commit not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come, that's Jesus speaking now. When Jesus comes into a man's life, he said, I give life and I give it more abundantly. That coming of Jesus into a man's life is what we call new birth. What, how does that happen? We need to understand this new birth because that is the first thing and the, the, the step, the, the principal thing that will bring a man or position a man for this abundant life that he is created to enjoy on the earth. New birth is not just a religion. New birth is not just about introduction to a church. New birth is an experience that a man must have, the experience of a new life. If new birth is so fundamental and essential for experience of the abundant life, 
then it's good that we truly understand what new birth is because it must be genuine. The undoing of two men, particularly in the church in our days, is that the, 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 their new birth experience is not genuine. Because when new birth is genuine, their abundant life will become a reality. Now look at it. New birth is when an individual acknowledges the sin in his life. He acknowledges sin in his life. He's not explaining it. He's not excusing it. And he does not only acknowledge it, he confesses the sin. Acknowledges that, I agree, I'm living, like I'm engaged in sin. Then he confesses that sin. He tells God, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, that I know is a sin and it's not what you like. And then three, he seeks forgiveness of the sin from God through Christ. That is what we call, when that happens, the person acknowledges sins, confesses it and seeks forgiveness, asks Jesus, forgive me. Then Jesus comes in, clears the sin, forgives him, and makes a new man out of him. That is what we call the experience of new birth. Let me read it in 1 John, and then it will be very clear. 1 John 1, look at it. In verse 8, it says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If they that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. So, new bad experience is coming to a point that you own up before God. You are not explaining, you are not covering, you are not uh, trying to excuse yourself. You just own up plainly before God and say, God, I, I agree. I've been living in a life that is not uh, right with you. I've been doing things that displeases you. Now, I want, I, I want to stop that. And I need you. Jesus, forgive me. Cleanse me. Once somebody does that sincerely from his heart, Jesus will step in, according to, to what we read in the Bible, and he will cleanse him from righteousness. He doesn't stop there. It is one thing to confess one sin and to be forgiven, but to really make the new bad genuine, one must maintain that state. Of not returning back to sin. And that is where a lot also they miss the little disconnection there. And how do we do that? When we say, Jesus, cleanse me of my sin, we also tell Jesus, Jesus, help me to be able to stay off sin, to be able to live the life above sin. Once we say that genuinely from our heart, hear me very well, Jesus will take over that life and he will empower that life to begin to live and not be able to go back to those sin. Look at how Paul puts it. I, I, I love the way Paul crafts that word in Galatians 2, verse 20. If you understand this, it will become very easy to experience and to manifest the genuine new birth. Galatians 2, 20 said, I am crucified with Christ. That's Paul speaking. And that is what happens when a man truly becomes born again or as experienced new birth. He said, nevertheless, I live. Yet, not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live is in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. What does that mean? I am crucified with that. The moment that one says, Jesus, now you see, I'm living this life of sin. I want to help me. You have become crucified with him. You have become dead because you are now acknowledging that Jesus, this life is not the way you are me to live it. And after that, the life you now live is no longer by your struggle. The Jesus you spoke to now gives you the ability to live a life that is above the natural. That is the new birth that will bring a man into the experience of abundant life. So when this is done and Christ takes over the life of the man, Hear me. Then John chapter 10 verse 10 now becomes the reality. He says, the thief coming over to see, to kill and to destroy, but I am come to give life and to give it abundantly. Now, you that you, that you my viewer today watching me, in case you have not experienced this new birth, check your life, you will see that the evil vice on the earth are finding expression in your life in one way or the other. But Jesus wants to give you a new experience now. As I'm speaking to you now, all you need is in your heart, acknowledge that Jesus' life is not dealing with me well. Now, everybody might be seeing you smiling, but you know that you are just going through a struggle. Acknowledge it, and from your heart, speak to him. Tell him, just where you are now, say after me, Lord Jesus, 
I've been struggling through life. I've been trying to make things work, but it's not working. I've been trying to live a life that pleases you, but it's not happening. Jesus, I acknowledge my failure. Now, I need you to help me. Come into my life. Take away my weakness. Take away my sin. Take away my failure. And help me to be able to live the life that will be glorious from now. Thank you for doing it. Amen. Congratulations, you have done it. And watch it. Things will begin to work in your life. Now, you just say that prayer with me now. Look at it. In your heart now, there's this peace that just came to you now. There's like a weight lifted up from your heart. That is to tell you that Jesus has stepped in and the experience of new birth is genuine you. Get ready because from now, you will discover that your struggle will be over in the name of Jesus. Please, keep maintaining your work with Jesus because that is how you'll be able to experience the abundant life. He'll just be bringing every good thing you need per time to you. And in the name of Jesus, I pray your life will never know struggle again in the precious name of Jesus. Now, that is the first step. That is the foundation. Hear me very well. In Psalm 11 verse 3, the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? This is the foundation for the abundant life, the experience of new birth. And when it is not genuine, when it is not thorough, it's not true, everything you'll be doing, the person will be praying, the person will be serving in the church, the person will be very active. Nonetheless, you will still be experiencing every kind of evil things. But now that this new bad experience is genuine you, get ready and watch out. Life will begin to answer to you in a very sweet way from now. Let me pray for you before we close finally in this episode. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the miracles you've done in this episode. You have taught the light of men. You have made men to turn their heart to you. You have made men to uh, receive Christ into their life. You have made multitude to embrace the genuineness of new birth. Now I stand by the authority of the word. I speak to every life that has made that decision today. That from now, the abundant life will be your experience. From today, you will never be a part of the troubles of the heart. No matter who falls in life, you will continue to rise in the name of Jesus. No matter the experience around in the, in the environment, in the community, your own experience shall be only positive from today. I declare you are blessed and I declare life will work for you from today. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Congratulations because from now, life will answer to you. And people will testify that your story has changed in Jesus' mighty name. Well, we would love to hear your testimony. I will, I will, I will, I'm deeply eager to hear testimonies from a lot of people. Please put your testimony in, testimony in the comment section or make use of the email that I will put in the comment section and send us your testimony in case your testimony will be a bit bulky and will be a bit long so that we can have the details of it and we can celebrate God with you. When you test out of what God has done in your life, God will do more for you. And if you have questions as per the things you have heard or any other thing, about your life, about the, about, the, about the Bible, please make use of the comment section also. I promise that we'll answer all the questions that you put in there. The Lord bless you. Be a part of this family. Great things are happening in this family. Don't just come to visit. So subscribe to the channel. Also like this video. And there's a friend you know, there's a family member you know, there's somebody you know, a, a business partner that needs to hear this message for a story to change. Send this message to that person. When you extend a hand of blessing to somebody, God will release more blessing to your life. You are the next that men will celebrate with in the name of Jesus. See you next time again when we will be telling you more th things to do that will position you in the center of the abundant life. From now, your story will be a testimony to men in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.